Hello everybody, welcome to Knox Asian Recipe. Today she's going to show you how to make stir-fried veggies and glass noodle soup. So tofu skins are used in this soup and also some dried mushrooms. We're going to hydrate both of these about 15 or 20 minutes depending on the kind of mushrooms you use. Add a little water to these, just room temperature water. And also uh, some glass noodles we're going to get ready. Glass noodles we like to cook, cut them up into smaller pieces for this soup. Of course you can use them whole if you prefer. Glass noodles soak only for about five minutes. Then you're going to want to drain them, set them aside. Now we're ready to cut up the tofu skins into smaller pieces for the soup. And also we're going to do the same with the mushrooms. So when these ingredients are ready then, we're going to get out our potatoes, which we've already cut into cubes. We're going to heat up our water, and of course for some flavor, we're going to add three cloves of garlic, whole cloves of garlic into the soup. When this one is to a boil, now we can add our mushroom pieces, and we'll put a little dark soy sauce into this soup as well. Let's get our potatoes cooking in there so they can soften up. Okay, let's put our tofu skins into this soup, get all the flavors mixing together. Our garlic, our mushrooms, our tofu skins. Add a little salt for flavoring as you desire. Cook this one for about 10 or 15 minutes or something like that. And until the potatoes are soft, then let's add the glass noodles into the mix. Glass noodles have been pre-soaked already. I like to add a little cornstarch, which I dissolve in some warm water, a couple tablespoons of cornstarch to thicken the soup up. Let's season it with a little bit of black pepper and then let this cook together for a little while. All right, we're ready to serve this soup. Let's garnish with a little bit of celery leaves from our garden. Oh, that smells good. All right, let's go to the next dish now. This is the stir-fried veggies. For this one, we're gonna use a hikama, which is also known as Mexican turnip, or bangkwang in Malaysian language. We need to peel the bangkwang. We're gonna slice it up and cut it into thin sticks. This is a vegetable that's very crunchy texture, a little sweet flavor. It's uh, ideal for a uh, stir-fry. Actually, originally from Mexico, I think the Spaniards carried it all the way to the Philippines and it became extremely popular in Southeast Asia. So much so, my wife didn't even realize that it was native to Mexico. So we've got this one ready. We need, we're ready to heat up a bit of oil and cook a little garlic in there, two or three cloves, finely diced. This is for our stir fry. We're gonna add carrots into our stir fry, which we've sliced into small sticks as well pinch of salt to this one and we're going to get these things cooking together and now we're ready to add in our hikama or bang kwang. sometimes they call this Mexican yam bean all right let's season it with a little white pepper and keep these things cooking it doesn't have to cook very long these ingredients are ready just in about five minutes or so towards the end when uh, the vegetables are cooked. We'll add in a little bit of chopped green onions for flavor as well. Now we're ready to go. This looks beautiful, smells great. Serve it with some black vinegar. Extremely delicious.